Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a channel that belongs to me that is called Sesenia Coinvalish to Ambrish. And this is the first time that I will be sharing uh, my lessons on English. But I on my channel I already have uh, 11 lessons and this would be the first one in English. Okay, but uh, let me first introduce myself. Uh, I am IT. With a degree in computer science and more than eight years of IT experience. In this time, I held several positions as computer technicians, as Cisco junior network consultant, and currently I'm working uh, as IT support at the company uh, insurance sector. So I'm also to Cisco certification. The first one I take on. 2013 was the first certification and last year I tried to move forward and I take more one certifications and this one was for was for was for Cisco Cisco CCNP uh, switching certification so this is the this the and this certification I take la, la, last one I've also Microsoft skill kind of like a uh, management uh, WSS, uh DHCP Genius, Active Director, and so on. I have also database skill, and device solutions, and all this kind that uh, the IT world's offering. So, breaking to the presentation, so on my channel, we'll be able to, I'll be speaking, I will be, we'll be, we'll be able to share or to, uh, to put the log of your company on my presentation. So, and this way, you can be a sponsor of this channel. So I'm um, available on these social networks. Can be you can find me on link, LinkedIn. You can also find me on Facebook using the same name Cecilia Coinvalish from British. Or you can access directly my channel on YouTube using this link. So today I'm going to share with you about this guy, about this protocol. Uh, hold standby of the protocol and during these lessons uh, I, will be, I will be speaking a little bit about the basic concept configurations and verification use short comma and at the end I will be I will be show this summary about everything for discussion on this session so continue talk about uh, talk about this guy or talk about age HSRP. He talk about the protocol that allow us to establish a default failed tolerance and uh, primary network. So he's also telling that this this guy this protocol is uh, belongs to Cisco and the HSRP make part of the first hop first hop readiness protocol. She's G G G. LBP and VRP. So why should you use this protocol? Let's talk about let's let consider about these two uh, scenarios. So first scenario is that most of the small business network uh, have this kind of uh, topology. Maybe they should have a single connection to the internet and small hosts connected to the uh, segment. So now letting let's think that a little bit. Uh, suppose that the router one fails. If the router one fails, all these guys here, the endpoint connection, connection. So I mean, these end users will not access the internet because they have only single path to access the internet, and this should be critical for business continuity. So let's take a little bit uh, considering the second scenario. Maybe the company decide to use. Uh, other solutions have here uh, having a redundance to access the internet so now let's considering that uh, these users are using uh, this gateway of the root one and maybe this this uh, this this scenario is more is more is more uh, what can i say is more uh, comfortable because you have to path if the root one fails should have root two uh, allowing you to access the internet but even that if the router 
one fails this guy currently i use this uh, this gateway so it means if the root one file you should you should be uh replacing the gateway on this machine to use the gateway of the root one and this is buried maybe you should have hundred and hundred machine in your network and uh, to, do, to do this task manually it should take all your time and maybe the user should claim so about the fail that happened so this kind of thing you may know that when happen when the network failed for some reason so your boss should should push you to find the right solution so why not use a h srp to to solve this kind of thing so let a uh, little about the operations of this protocol so suppose that you have a single network with two or more routes participating on the same hr hsrp group they will be using a virtual ip address and a virtual mac address this should allow root one and root root you should allow root one and root two to share a single virtual uh, router in this case so considering the scenario they should be able to share this ip address it means that if the root one fails router root, root two should take a decision to be the primary uh, and they should also be able to share a single virtual mac address during this process during this process there is a process of to elect who should be the the two concept that a uh, hsr use is to elect the who should be the active and who should be the standby to be active the root must have a high priority while uh, other one would be the with the lowest priority should be a standby protocol uh, during also this process there is something that the root should pass and this is called the states these states include the initial states learning state uh, state uh, listening state speak uh, and standby and at the last one is active state on the initial state root maybe is not running uh, the h h or h srp is not running on the the root on the learning state um, uh, the root maybe just has determined the virtual ip address but is not is not authenticated to send hello message on the listen state uh, both both uh, virtual virtual IP and the MAC address maybe uh, are not uh, I, 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 I maybe knows for I maybe know for both router and the uh, speak state and the uh, speak state uh, the root send a hello pack for for single period of times to elect to elect the active or standby. On standby mood, on standby state, maybe we have you on stand on stand on standby state. Uh, we, maybe we just have uh, the active, and uh, standby is the is the is the router or switch that will be able will be the prima if the active one fail. So continuing. Uh, so when we are using uh, HSRP, there is two. Uh, two versions of virtual MAC address that we can use. For version one, we use this uh, this uh, this MAC address. I include here, I include here XX to represent a group, but uh, it, this this group is is hexadecimal number. For instance, if I should use uh, a group a group number eleven the virtual mac address of, of version one should be this one it should be add here b as you may know on hexadecimal we can the number are represented with the letters so it should be the the markers of version one for version two we use this this uh, this mark uh, with x x x the space that should be include the group 
number. For instance, if we should also if we should be if we should use the same group here, group number eleven, I should have here f x zero b, and uh, these should be represent uh, as a hexadecimal number. So during the during all this uh, step, we saw that we have several states, uh, five state five states. Uh, initial, learning, listen, and so on. Uh, they wrote to send several hello messages using the multicast address. For instance, if the, if on your network you are running a HSRP version one, your your router will be will be send hello message using the um, using the uh, multicast address two two. 4002 and if you are using the version 2 you will be using uh, your who will be sending hello message using the multicast address 220002 so uh, the priority are number between 0 and 255 and we just talked previously the the router with the high priority is called active and the router with Lowest priority is called standby. Uh, now let's talk about how to configure this protocol. Previously, I already uh, created a single topology on the on uh, Cisco Pectory. So let me on Marshall now. Most of the lab are produced uh, on on Pectory. I also use Genesis to 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 use. Or to create uh, the lab. Uh, in these scenarios, I will uh, you're going to use this topology. So let me tell you what we'll, we will have here. So on the first Ethernet of root one, I will have I will have this IP address, and on the first Ethernet zero zero of root two, I will have this uh, IP. I'm going to get on root one using the console. Uh, let me get desktop and terminal and uh, let me I'm inside of the root one let me uh, show you that there is no configuration show running to show the current configuration of the root I have all as I said a single uh, IP address unsigned on the fast internet zero clash zero of root one and no more additional configurations that are here on router one. Uh, backing to jump back to the router two to show you that there is no configuration to enable show show running to see the current configurations on the router. Even here on the router two. I have all assigned a single IP address on the fast Ethernet zero slash zero and no more configuration so include here in uh, router two. Jump back to the router one. I'm going I will start to configure the uh, H stand hot standby routing protocol. How to do that? I'm going to configuration mode, config terminal. Now I'm going to when you are going, when you are when you are configuring the whole standby root protocol, you can configure uh, inside of SIV or if you trial interface, or you can also configure uh, on physical interface. In my case, I'm going to configure on uh, I'm going to configure uh, on uh, physical interface. In this case, it will be interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. Uh, since I am inside of uh, fast uh, fast Ethernet zero slash zero, I issue this command standby, and let me put question mark to see what what attribute I can apply here. So the first attribute I have here is the group, and you can see that the group are numbered between zero and forty nineteen five. You can also assign a IP address after group. You can assign a IP address. You can also include IP version six for HSRP. Uh, you can print the, You can include the priority timer and trade. I think that I will be talking about all these 
guy. Let's uh, consider the same group that we use in the example. Uh, group number 11. Uh, the second step is to uh, assign a virtual IP address. The IP address that will be assigned is this one 192.168.10.10.1. This guy will be the IP, the virtual IP address that I will be sharing for router 1 and router 2. After that, I'm sure again the command standby group number 11 and i will uh, insert here the priority the priority okay as you can see this will just become since i include i i, I issue this this command it will take a little a little a little a little a little seconds uh to decide who should be the active as i don't have other root configured with a with this protocol then the, this will just decide to be standby because he doesn't identify other root so Priority that was saying the priority are number between uh, 0 and 255. So, in this case, I will include here the priority for this. I will include 120 is the priority. Uh, let me okay. I think that this two command is enough. I will explain about other, other attribute. Let me jump back to router 2 and proceed the same step. Uh, I'm inside of let me configure terminal. let me back to conf terminal interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero standby so when you are configured uh, hold standby root protocol uh, the root that will be must be in the same group reason why I'm taking root to, to also on group number group 11 to to be sharing the same information for the router one so i can set the group i'm going to insert the virtual ip address the same virtual ip address that i insert on root one one nine two one six eight ten one uh, after 10 seconds probably we will have the zoo to become uh becoming the standby because this during this uh, because we, we already have root one working as active, so root root two should be a standby. As you can see, root by root one uh, will be a standby. The priority. Let me standby one and uh, group priority. So let me know on this root. I will not. Uh, I will not insert the priority. If I don't insert the priority of this on this route, by default, the route 2 will assume the priority of 100 because it's the default. Mean if you don't insert n priority on uh, on the route, it will have a default priority that is a hundred. Since I already have uh, route 2 participating on the group number 11 of each all standby button protocol I can use the show command to verify who is the who is the standby and who is the uh, the active there is two single command that we can use to to troubleshoot hotspots and button protocols the first command is this one standby you can on user mode you can issue the command standby Mm, show sorry show standby brief to show to show uh, the state of your configuration so from root to two we can see that the on fast internet i have group number 11 i didn't issue any command to of the priority but you can see here the priority the default priority is 100 the state the state is standby and the active root is pointing to the ip address of root one standby here is local and the virtual ip address is this guy 
if I jump back on router two, on router one, using the, let me back to the user mode and show using the stem command show standby brief to show. Let me now just show the buff windows here to compare it. So on uh, we can see from router one that the group is also 11 the priority is 120 the state is active the active is local because is the ip is the uh, this guy is uh is the active is standby is pointing to ip address of router 2 and the virtual ip address is the same virtual ip as that both of them are sharing you can also uh using the command show standby to take to see more information so then issue the same command over here on router on router 2 the same command issuing this command show standby will give you a little bit more information so so for instance here from the root one i can see that is active on root 2 is standby uh root 5 change or use it five state five state in the last 16 minutes so the virtual ip address is the same as you can see uh they also share the same uh active mac address you can see here the same active mac address this is b because it x is the small and mean 11. uh the other information i want to tell you is this guy here hello time and uh hold time i spend that i i, I, I spend that uh, during the elections these guys uh, use use uh, you, uh they use mood mood cast address and in our case we can see that from if we see the mac address we are using version 2 the information we can take from here we are using version 2 so they use uh multicast rc 224 uh, so and these hello message are sent which uh which which three second it means which three second root one and root two and root two will be will be will be will be change mood case address and the whole time is the maximum time uh for instance suppose the root one go shut down so then we'll take 10 seconds to return to change his state of standby to active we can let, let me let me try to do that let me try to do that uh, we can do that let me be let me put shut down the fast internet or on route one shut down to see what happened mm, conf t conf terminal uh, uh int uh int file zero slash and shut down to see what happened with the root two uh let's go to wait okay after 10 seconds you can see the root one become active because the big two rooter to become active because they they are this is the single segment that you are sharing information since the root one is shut down automatically after 10 seconds root two become a active if, if we should the same command show standby standby from this you will know that now the root two is active uh is, is still he still using the same virtual mic address but uh he said is active and the standby and he don't know who is the standby because root one is shut shut down uh jump back to root root one uh, let me say no shut down to see what happened here so our uh, okay just pass and say i'm sure 100 yeah let me back again jump back to router 2 and issue the same command show 
stand by to see if you already recognize uh, the root root one. Show standby. Scale the brief. You as you can see, uh, root one has have the priority of hundred. Root two have the priority that priority of hundred. They still use the same group. It's still active. Active is local and he don't know the standby and maybe just not because uh, the interface was is not on the it just how me issue again. <clears throat> okay, we can see even after put uh, uh, put up the fast internet on router one, router two still become a uh, active. As you can see, let me let me let me let me show using the same command here on root one show standby and explain what happened, why it happened. So as you can see, standby brief. Uh, root one had more priority than root for root two. But root one, root two still uh, still active because uh, when the root one, root two was was returned to up, root two will become still still be as active until the root one fail again or root two fail again to root two become a active. If this not happen, root two will continue to be active until one day. Uh, it fail and root two will, root one will become uh, will become uh, active too. Back to root one, going to inside of uh, the interface fast Ethernet slash dot slash zero uh, no shutdown. Uh, the uh, say standby group 11 i saw i saw that i said that i should talk about all this guy print and uh, just see the priority and don't talk about uh, timers and the uh, trick uh, let me talk about let me talk about uh let me talk about uh, about uh timers timers you can manipulate these timers as you saw previously here let me scroll up you as you saw, this route I shared in hello message, uh, which up which three seconds. I can manipulate this time, for instance, I should take here uh, two, should be hello message, it means which two, which two, uh, which two seconds I will be, my route will be sharing hello message, and after seven. Seven message. The root will not, will not root, the neighbor root will understand that uh, the other guys is shut down. The same thing I will do here because they, sh they should have they must have the same timers interface fast Ethernet slash zero no uh, standby eleven uh, timers and two seven ten hey then down now they have the same uh the same the same the same uh, the same timer so other thing i could tell you i should also track the interface uh track what does it mean tracking interface uh this command help you to identify which interface uh, uh, will inform your neighbor that the my I'm done now decrement my priority so for instance in my in our case I will track the fast Ethernet for instance uh, over to one this guy here I will track so let me track this interface I will check like that first Ethernet zero slash zero Back into the stand show standby to see what happened. 
you will see here track track interface first ethernet state is up and decremented 10 mm. by default pack trace decrement uh, the interface by 10 but think about our scenarios it should be different we know that the, the priority of router 1 is 120 and the priority of uh, let me back to the show run show standby the priority of uh, router 1 router 2 is 100 so since I track the interface faster than that on the router 1 it means that it will decrement 10 on router on router and router on router 1 it means that i should have here 110 but you should if i should if i if i want root 1 to be router to be a standby i should decrement more than 10 for instance i have here 120 and i have here 100 why should not decrement 30 to have here 19 and here i have uh i should have here uh a hundred let me let me jump back to a heavier agent three that is more realistic let me try uh, to do something here conf t interface vlan one no shutdown standby uh, 11 uh track Ethernet in this case Ethernet 0, 0 slash 0 and include the number you see on pack trace I, I can't add the number here but on Genesis 3 you can track the number you want the reason why for instance in our scenario I should track 30 but here on on pack trace you can track more than 10 so let me put again the faster than that of root one shutdown to see what happened af after after include the track command. You can see I still really purity of uh, of a uh, hundred and twenty conf t interface first five zero zero and shut down to see what happened now after track the interface shut down okay back in there and you should come and stand right to see you see now i have the priority of 110 but previously it was configured 120 so the the state is done and the documentation was 100 it was 10. so this is the, the way that you can manipulate all these things and the last thing I should talk about is a primed. As you can see here, primed is disabled. I can primed. I can enable the primed to inform the the route that are participating in the same host standby route protocol. To to it can maybe it it help or to to inform the neighbors to be more fast than. The fourth, there's the fourth, there's the fourth, uh, there's the fourth configuration. So you can also pimp to the interface, go there on infa slash zero zero, and you can the, on the same group standby one and twelve on root one and say pimped will pimp when the shut down to see what happened. It is mm -hmm. okay is up fully up okay active you see the difference now what happened after include the print command previously when I, I, I was not act, I was not printing the 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 root one when he was when I put shut down the root one remain active 
because the paint was not activated. When active, when active now the paint, even if the even if I I decrement my my my, my interface, when I have the paint enabled, it's returned to be the active arm. This is a little, should have more more information if you should be using uh, a real environment or if you should use a genius tree. Um, pictures, I think that is enough for to talk about this protocol. You can see even if the even if the Voodoo one fails, these guys still communicate with each other without a problem. Even Ruto, if Ruto, if Ruto two fails and Ruto one it is up, the network the network still working normally because they have, they are sharing a single virtual IP address that uh, allow them to communicate without a problem. Back into the presentation, we just saw the verification using two commands, uh, and let's talk about the summary. So now we learned that uh, uh, HSRP -H is a protocol that allow us to create a fault tolerance on the network. Uh, we saw that we have two version, version one of and version two of MAC address. We learned that uh, during the election process, uh, the routes that are in the same HSRP group, they send hello message. So, and uh, for hello message, when we are using version two, we we use uh, uh, we use uh, a multicast add of two two zero zero hundred and two. And when we are using version one, we use a multicast as of two two four zero zero two. So by default, uh, the version one is the versions that we can find on Cisco device. The group the group R number between zero and two five five. Uh, the root with high priority is active, and with lower lowest priority is standby. Uh, uh, standby hold. Standby root protocol have five states that are initial, learning, listen, speak, and standby. Uh, with this, we have we are in the end of our lesson. I hope that you appreciate this lesson and put your include your comment on my on my YouTube channel. And that's half of your Angolan guy. See you next session.